what is going on guys it is jay pace and we are back with some another brick in the mall let's go ahead and get our game loaded up here i know last time we were working on getting those uh self checkouts right and we are currently researching coffee shop which is pretty cool so we will most likely be building a coffee shop somewhere in this area um i feel like i want to just fix this wall here also so while we're waiting i guess let me do um foundation like that and i think i also want to do this road finally so if i put a road here road road this must be oh no cancel that road thank you here to here there we go and then eventually i'll fill this all in with this store this is going to be like probably one of the biggest stores we have here so let them do that that's fine um i could then come in here and remove these walls here actually remove all this oh coffee shop is done nice get rid of that and we can go ahead and put a new double door here and a staff door here. It's probably going to be a little bit until they get done with that the road up there. Um, I also want to put another... Um, garbage. Garbage pickup. So let's put that there. And then we'll put some more customer parking here. That'll give us a little more... A couple more spots. I wish I could have did something here, but... I, mean, I guess I could do the same thing I did over there with the foundation, right? Um, foundation. Yeah, I could do this. How much does that cost? I guess we'll see. Expand that out. All right, so what we got? We got $16,000 right now. Obviously, it's going to go down because of all the construction I'm doing. We have uh, profits doing pretty good. I tell you, we're making almost two grand. Still have four or five hours left, so maybe we'll hit that $2,000 mark. Um, research. Let's go ahead and research. Mm, let's do chemical supplier. Because I think last time they, there was a demand for... For drugs at a drugstore. So maybe we can figure out that too. And I think it's only 24, right? Yeah, it's only 24 man hours. So it's a, it's a short one. All right. Did they finish the road? Almost finished the road. What is this? My security center? Do I have staff in here? Okay, I do. Let's move that person's hours, pick a patrol. Nope, I'm good. All right, there you go. So they're fixing that wall up, getting the door installed. It's a little better now that it's matching up to the actual roadway. All right, perfect. All right, so we have 13,000 bucks. How much are we gonna, let's see, see, how much are we gonna need to do this? $21,000. Okay. And we'll get this fixed up once they build that. Obviously, they're going to be... I only have one person overnight for construction, right? Uh, builder, builder, builder. Yeah, there's three during the day. I could do that. The three, three, two, two. I guess I'm just trying to see if I could always have two people here. Extend that out once. Uh, three. I don't really need three, though. So we'll do that, that. So two, two, two.
How's that? Okay, it's fine. We'll leave it at that. Basically all two, except for in the morning. I just want to make sure people are here to build stuff if I need them to. Uh, so 21 grand for the foundation. We're making 2,400 bucks today. That's pretty good. Self-checkouts seem to be working really well. Max Q size is 5. It's interesting. I realized I had a max Q size. See, max Q size on this is 10. But 10, I mean, that's some angry people. Like, I can't imagine it can be 10 and people not getting frustrated. Um, I do parking here. I do parking here. Leave a spot. Parking here, right? Because then I can go road out this way and road out this way. Maybe a road out this way. There we go. Where'd they go? Oh, now they're doing this. Uh, remove this here. That. Build a wall here. Remove these walls here. We go and then put a staff door here put a double door down here maybe another staff door in the middle with a double door next to it there we go that's a little better it gives me another area for another row and a self-checkout if I want to I just spent loads of money here, guys. I'm down to 3600 bucks. I got to save money for this coffee shop. But I got to make sure that the surrounding logistics are... Um, ...available. I mean, I want to make sure I have plenty of parking. Make sure the roads are all where they need to be. Eventually, I'll move this... And just put parking there because that's just silly to have it. I should put it up here. What are you looking for here? Uh, clothes store, video game store, movie theater. Okay, so we need money. That we have fifteen hundred bucks. I think we could take a loan, right? Duration. Let's go. If we do thirty days, uh, if we do five hundred bucks a day, we can get fourteen thousand dollars. That's not even worth it, right? A hundred days. At a hundred dollars a day, sixty-eight hundred. That's crazy. Amount loan nine hundred eighty dollars. Most I could take is ninety-nine, about ten grand. But it's a thousand dollars a day. Oh my gosh, no. No, no, no. That is not a good loan structure. <laughs> So we will just make do with what we got here. Um, how much was that road stuff? $300? Customer parking. Is it $300 like every square? That's a lot then. Yeah, I spent a lot of money on that. They might not even have money. Yeah, they look, they're not going to have enough money to do it. I'm going to go negative here. There you go. Just cancel that. Wait, does remove cost money too? <laughs> yeah, I'm negative 273 right now. So why you just can't can't like how do you cancel uh Oh. There you go. That's what I wanted. 
That's what I wanted. There you go. I added a couple spots. Some weird parking there. I mean, eventually I'll put parking spots down there, but now I'm negative $1,500. So I need to have a, a killer day today. Research of chemical suppliers almost done. I mean, I might have to actually take a loan. But like I'm on day 27. All right, if I take a loan for 20 days, that's almost all of my existence of playing this map. <laughs> if I want to do 500 bucks a day, let's say, that only that only gets me $10,000. That's like nothing. What am I going to do with 10,000 bucks? I need 21,000. Where were those? Uh, I know I said it last time. I want to know where those. Oh, here they are. So sell 40 different types of products, 20 grand. Turn over a daily profit, 5,000, 20 grand. I have 100 customers on site, $10,000. So if I sell six more different products, I don't even think I have one, two, three, four, five. No. Yeah, I would have to get... Well, I guess once chemical suppliers done, that would work. But I'm negative money, so... Oh, here we go. Positive day. Finally. All right, let's do research. Let's research a uh, tobacco license. That's a small one, 24. Sell some tobacco. That might... Uh, What's the demand on tobacco right now? Um, food? No? Miscellaneous? Oh, there's tobacco. Wow. 43 demand. <laughs> tier 3. Open a store with... Okay, so... Tier 1. Demand is 10. Alright, well... We'll see if we can, uh... Get that going. We got the... I have no money. I can't even buy a shelf. So, it doesn't even matter. I gotta wait till we get some cash in here. You know, let's just... Uh, we'll speed up just for a little bit. See if we get some positive income coming in. All right, so if I get shelf here, I know I can't uh, buy it yet, but oh, there we go. Hey, how much? Is, how much are they? Hundred bucks? I only have a hundred dollars. Oh my gosh! Thought my day was gonna be a little more profitable than that. Sixty-three dollars in the bank. I'm not gonna build anything this whole day. I want to know why the money goes down though. Like, what, what am I buying throughout the day? I guess maybe is it the supplies? I'm paying for the supplies, I guess. That's what it has to be. So I think it makes sense to me. Sixty percent done with tobacco. Hopefully we can turn this profit back positive here. Here comes the people. There you go. Once that like ten o'clock hits. Now the money starts flowing in. All these businesses, I want to get a self-checkout if I can. At least one. All right, tobacco's done. We're going to be positive very shortly, I think. I hope. There we go. Oh, there we go. Good. And maybe I could buy a shelf or two. What is this? This is 65% food. Okay, so we got to keep that. 
uh, that high percentage. All right, so I want to build a shelf here once I have money at the end of the day, four hours from now. Get some tobacco on it. Because it has good profits. And... There we go. All right, so shelf, shelf. Um, let's get some detergent on that one and let's get some tobacco and I guess build a couple more shelves here. Let's go shelf, shelf and put deodorant and First aid. Let's just do drugs. There you go. We'll do drugs for now. Cause these are look at the profits on this. Profit margin two hundred percent. But we'll keep an eye out to see if people are actually buying it. I know it was in demand. Oh, we got nothing researching right now. Let's research. Let's go frozen food. Demand for drugs. Yeah, see? Tier 1. Oh, well, there's only 2 demand. Tier 2. I don't know what the difference is. This has one display. Open a store 50% health and beauty to create a drug store. Well I, well, I have that already, right? Wait. Hold on. Was that... How much was that? 50%, right? Yeah, over 50% health and beauty. Which is what this one is. Yeah, 53%. Alright. Oh, we made two sales from it. That's not bad. Oh, there's another sale. I mean, obviously, you do, to get these things, you need to have, like... You'll have... 10 stores... That just sell specifically one item. Which is weird to me. Like this is 50% health and beauty, right? Which is a, a drug store. You know, a CVS, a Walgreens, that type of thing. But then I have to make another one. Same exact thing. But it's going to sell just, you know, medications. So. It's okay though. We got $2,300. We, uh, the day is just starting. I need to get myself up to... What? How much is this? 20 grand? Right, well, let's just start this. Let's take it a couple bucks at a time here. Um, just do a row. I don't know if that's going to uh, cause a problem or not, but there we go. And then we'll wait again. Oh, frozen food is done. Nice. Build, slow this down a second here. Build this fridge. Get two of them in there. Ice cream. Okay, so there's a lot of things. Frozen vegetables. I need one more. Build fridge. There we go. Frozen pizza. Dude, when you bring new items like that, we need two more items, guys. Two more items, and we'll get 20 grand in our pocket. Man. Build. Food shelf. No. Is that what I want there? Yeah, food shelf. Fridge. Oh, I don't have enough money. Those are two hundred dollars. Man. See these are all maxed out. Let's put put wine.
How much is staff tour? Two hundred dollars for a staff tour. Oh man. Okay. This was really excited to see wine. How much did you spend? Let's see. Seventeen dollars. I got profit. Nice. All right. So there we go. We just turned green. There we go. Twenty grand. That will go a long way towards this coffee shop. Build foundation. Let's get that foundation done. It's probably gonna only leave me with uh, like a thousand bucks. As long as our profits stay green, we're good. What's some other things here? 50 products, daily profit 5,000. 100 customers on site. The highest we had was 64. Even though it claims that we hit 77 parking spots being used. Well, I guess that's employees, right? So employees, the trucks. Delivery trucks. So yeah, that's probably what that is. Okay. And let's see. We have $3,000 left. Okay, so build... Build a double door here. Build a staff door here. Put a regular door here to connect these two shops like I usually do. All right, that's gonna leave me with $3,000. If I assign this as a coffee shop. Let's name it a cup of cup of joe all right and cup of joe is going to be opening at four and closing at let's do a 16 hour day so it's two eight hour shifts link storage to here what do we have here we have thirteen hundred dollars and we're about to get another 2300 bucks i need a coffee shop counter and a order counter so let's say coffee shop counter is two grand and a order counter. Order counter, $800. All right, so let's go, let's go here. Okay, that's that, it's 800 bucks. Zip through this day real quick to get that extra money in our bank. We're almost done with it anyway. Um, let's go big data. Let's get some analytics going here. And boom, there we go. So 3300 bucks. Then we need a coffee shop counter. Doesn't really matter. I just don't know which way it's supposed to go. Sure, right there. I don't know. <laughs> um, staff, hire cashier. Cashier. Hire stock clerk. Stock clerk. And hire waiter. Waitering. There you go. Um, what else do I need here? Anything? Build. Restaurant. Co cafe table. Here we go. So we'll do one, two, three, four, five. There we go. All right. Let's go to staff. Staff. Um, stock clerk is going to go here. We go to. We open up at six? No, we open up at four. So if I do two people. Five hour shifts. Hire another cashier. Hire another waiter. Then we go to you to here. You to here. Stock clerk like that. Um, 1600, 1600. Actually, let's go drop one, drop one. Slide, slide, up, up. 
There we go. And you could work a, a whole day. And yeah, we'll see what that does. All right. So we have a coffee shop. Brand new. Let's see what happens when uh, the employees start coming in tomorrow. I also got to start putting some, some tile down here. So I can differentiate from these buildings. I have no money. I'm negative $2. This is going to cost 420 bucks. Now we're plus 2000 though. So research, I mean, big data is going right now. They closed at 1900. All right. I mean, overall pretty good guys. I mean, we unlocked some new items, right? We got some of the uh, fridge frozen items. We got tobacco going on right here. Looks like we've sold some. They still want a clothing store, a pharmacy, and a bowling alley. A news agent. Open up a store with 50% of press and print. I guess I'm wondering if I could just put like just a tiny square. A self-checkout. And like a newspaper stand. You know what I'm saying? Like, is that is that possible? Can you just, just do like a little tiny newsstand somewhere? That'd be pretty cool. Like this right here. Like something this size. Right? You just put in a self-checkout. And then like one newsstand. And people just... I should just do it just to mess around with it. I mean, it's $10,000 though for the self-checkout so it's a big investment uh looks like our, our sales are still now they're starting to go back up that's good profits good 3200 bucks parking usage is going back up all in all overall pretty good so all right guys i'm gonna end this one here as always throw some likes on the video subscribe to the channel and comment down below if you like what we're doing here um it's pretty unique pretty different uh, got a little liquor store, pharmacy, a coffee shop. Looks like the coffee shop is finally doing some work. Oh, let's see. Profit. Okay, so everything right now, all my my businesses are green. Obviously, the coffee shop just opened, so you can't really base profit on that yet. But we will see how it goes uh, the next day. But all right, guys, I will uh, see you later.